is the opening of the uh, node cap here has stopped at 99 percent so this is exactly the classic example of can you see this classic example of um you don't need to do very usually like this is exactly what happened so i'm printing the very video so that you guys will see that i'm going to resolve this problem now um keep so like you keep inputting your login details but you just hang there all right so let me just go to the settings the settings let's see what we have at the settings all right guys um in this video i'm going to quickly show you how to install your nox app player and um, this video it will be a little bit long but i would advise that you stick um with me from the beginning to the end all right so i would i i i assume that you already have your nox app player downloaded from the official website all right the, it's the official website url is www.bignox.com all right so i've already downloaded my own all right so about um i want to say it as a reminder this very this very solution is meant for mac os uh, users because i don't have access to a windows uh, system all right and the reason why i'm actually making this tutorial is because um it took me a long while before i could get this very solution you know it's very very annoying you want to install an application that you really really you know you really want to get value from from such application but just because the system will not allow the application to install all right then you know it gets really really annoying and uh, frustrating all right so um but before we even start at all i wanted to realize that there are two big prominent barriers to the installation of Nox app player on Mac OS and the very first uh, the very very first um, barrier is known as um, integrity system integrity protection system integrity integrity protection all right so this system integrity protection is basically uh, more like an, uh, 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 a security measure um, like it's more like a, a security policy that bars um, your system from accepting any solution from a third party application or from a third party resource or any any application that is not already pre-approved you know by by mark itself or by apple itself so that is what you have on your system that most of the times if I, all the time you want to install any third party application it usually ask you um, as the security settings whether you want to open it anyways all right so so the very first thing i want to do now is we want to check whether um our system is enabled for um a system integrity protection whether it's actually enabled on our, on our system so that's what i want to do now for you to check it um you have to type this into your terminal so how did i, how did I get to this terminal point i can just search through your uh, spotlight terminal all right so for you to check the status of your system integrity protection use this command line cs util status csr util status i'm going to put the command lines that i use in this video in the description of this very video so you don't have to type them out and you don't have to count so as you can see, after checking the the um, command line, then it's telling me the result is telling me that system integrity protection status is enabled. So you want to ensure that it's not enabled because now I want to try to install the Nox app here because I just downloaded it from the official website. And let's see if the system integrity protection that is enabled will allow us to install uh, a third party application. Uh, all right, so let me let me just let me just try that right now. So this is the NOSAS player. I'm trying to install it now. Okay, it's asking me to I've actually try to install it before now, but my system crashed while I was recording the video. So let's see and let's wait and see if it's going to install or whether it will start at the okay. It's installed now. Let's see. Let's see what will happen. Mm. All right, so so it's it's just installed now. So it's, it's just a classic example of how 
what you experience all right so after the installation some of some of you might not even be able to get past the installation uh, installation phase but this very phase where it's now getting to open up then we'll now see whether it will, it will open or it will hang at 99 percent it's still loading still loading so it's asking me to input my password i will input my password as many authorization as it requires i'm ready to give it to it so let's wait for our beautiful Nox application to open up. Uh, let's see if the system integrity protection will not, um, will not interfere. So it's still loading. Immediately after this very phase, I'm going to disable the system integrity protection on my system. Then. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to show you how to check whether or not your system is um, uh, compatible with Nox App Player because it's not all systems that is actually compatible with Nox Nox App Player. As you can see, the the opening of the uh, Nox App Player has stopped at 99 percent. So this is exactly the classic example. Of, can you see this classic example of? Um, you run into this very issue like this is exactly what happened so i'm creating this very video so that you guys will see that i'm going to resolve this problem now you use the, this command um this command here sys ctl minus a uh, pipe grip and so on and so forth i'll put the command line at uh, this very command line in the description of this very video all right so you want to check if you have it on your system so as you can see, uh, we have the virtual uh, hardware virtualization um, on our system. Like it means our system can actually is designed to run not out there. So now the recap of what I've said so far is that you must first disable the system integrity protection on your system, which I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, but trying to do that, I will have to put up put on my system because I cannot. It requires that I need to restart my system. So I'm, I'm going to make use of my other device, my phone, and record it live so that you see how to disable the system integrity protection. Then after that, you need you still need to check whether your system is um, is compatible or it has the feature known as the hardware virtualization. And for you to, to get to, to see that, you need to use this um, command line on the screen. Uh, all right, this command line on the screen here. All right, you need to use it. I'm going to put it at the screen of this very video uh, so that you can just copy and paste. So immediately you hit on the enter button, then you want to search for VMX. If the VMX, if VMX is actually part of the output there, then it means that uh, you are good to go. So the very, very, very next stage for us to um, get into now is you want to activate, I want to disable the system integrity protection on our system. Um, so we meet on the other side. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm going to be making use of my, I'm going to be making use of my phone to do the live record. Then I'm going to be using one hand because I don't have anybody to assist me with the uh, handling of the phone. All right. So what you want to do now is uh, you want to restart your system. All right. So as you can see, I'm clicking on the restart button now. So I want to restart my system here. Yeah. Restart it. Yeah. All right. So click on restart. So immediately you restart, you want to hold on to the command button and R. You want to hold on to it like so. While your system is rebooting, you want to hold on to the command button and R. All right, so the command button and R, you hold on to it still. And this very next phase is the system will open up in the recovery mode. So from the recovery mode, we'll be able to um, disable the system integrity protection. All right. So let's wait for our system to open up in recovery mode. So just keep holding on to the two buttons, the command button and um, hard button. So once the system, the um, screen opens up this way, you, you don't do anything, don't tamper with any of all these things. Just come to your, this place, utilities, assets, utilities, then you click on terminals. Then once you click on terminals, let me expand this. Alright, so once you click on terminals, say you want to do CSR 
YouTube. Don't don't be scared. It won't it won't crash your system. It's just uh, a normal way of enabling and disabling a particular inbuilt feature or model on your system. All right. So just CSR YouTube um, enabled enable. All right. So that's all you need. CSR YouTube enable. Then you just hit on the enter button. Then it's not telling me that system integrity protection is on. Okay, it's supposed to be CSR YouTube disable because we already en enabled before now. Disable. We want to disable it, right? So as you can see, so system integrity protection is off. Alright, so immediately it is off. You can only on it or off it um, in the recovery mode. All right, so and the um, command line is either you use CSR util enable if you want to enable, if you want to disable CSR util disable. All this you can do in your recovery, um, in the recovery mode. All right, so that's it basically. So now that you have successfully uh, disabled your system integrity uh, protection on your system. You should be able to install then we should be able to install our north Star player so let me just quickly um flip back to the system so i want to um restart now all right guys so i just started my system and um, all right so as you can see the virtual bus is actually here so what i want to do now is um um i usually remove this virtual box but um now that i know better that there are two two factors that actually stop Nox app player from running which is the system integrity protection module uh, the security on the on the system and the fact that if your system is not compatible with uh, uh, hardware virtualization so uh, my system now is clear for those two requirements so i don't need to even uh, delete this virtual box anymore so let me just click on the Nox app player now that i've restarted the system then hopefully um, all the changes that I uh, we applied uh, during the recovery mode um, will be active on the system. So it's I expect it to open now without any stress. So let's just wait for it to load. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see, guys? So it's it's working. So like there's no even need for me to delete the um virtual box all right so the, the moment you 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 give the nox app player uh, all the requirements you disable the system integrity protection then um and then secondly you check whether your system is uh, enabled for um it's enabled for vmx that's um hardware virtualization all right then you are good to go just install and um allow or give authorization anytime it's any any time it pops um pops up the prompt all right so you just keep authorizing it then ensure that immediately after you have disabled your system integrity protection you start your system for the changes to be applied all right then immediately you, you apply it run your um NOSA player again then it will open immediately for you all right so let me just quickly um show you guys again the status of the system integrity protection now csr util status so i'm going to put description of all these command lines in the description of the video all right then if you want to check whether your system is um enabled for um hardware virtualization this is the command line that you use and i'll still put this as well in the description of the video and so as you can see so my system has vmx is enabled for hardware virtualization and at the same time i've been able to disable the system integrity protection and that's why i'm able to open and run my notes as player like this all right so um that's it guys you can now begin to enjoy your uh, android based applications on your mac os um as much as you want all right so tiktok facebook anything everything you, know, you have access to it now um probably if you want to go into automation mobile automation social media automation or something so on and so forth you can now begin to do all of that in your uh, on your mac os all right so that's it guys it opens 
all applications, all Android applications.